Shalom. Shalom. Hey, this is brother Amuan Ibad and your brother Rawai Shapar from the GMS Miami camp, and we're going to be dropping a lesson. Okay. Before we go any further, we're going to give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you we say Shalom. Okay. Now, uh, Shabbat Shalom. You know, uh, uh, you know we in the Sabbath. And we're getting ready to, it's a double Sabbath, you know, uh, we're getting ready to go into the the trumpet, uh, the blowing of the trumpet, uh, 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 a feast, okay? Um, the, uh, the trumpet of feast is coming in tonight, okay? Um, so now, real quick, but the title of this lesson, the title of this lesson is going to be going into... Um, it's called, it's going to be entitled, All of the Lord Prophecies Will Prevail. Okay? All of the Lord Prophecies Will Prevail. Okay? And, um, once again, as I was saying, is uh, when the sun go down, it's going to be the Feast of Trumpets. Okay? Which is a holy convocation. Alright? And I was just, um, putting that out there real quick, but uh, let's get back uh, to this lesson right here. Um, right, title of the lesson, All of the Lord's Prophecies Will Prevail. Okay, now before we get into the precepts, let's look up this word prevail. Okay, um, I write down, I, I drop down a few of the synonyms. It says, it's a few of the meanings, it says, be successful. Okay, to prevail. To be successful. Okay, it says, Effectuous, effectuous. Now, when you look up this word itself, effectuous, it says powerful, effectual, efficient, sure to have the desired effect. You see, so that's going into effectuous, which is one of the synonyms of the word prevail. Okay, to be successful, to be effectuous. All right, so all of the Lord prophecies will prevail. You see. The scripture says, none shall fail. That means that they're gonna, all are going to prevail. That's right. You see? All right. Give me what you got, brother. It's the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Mm -hmm. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do dwell, that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, uh -huh. until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. There you go. That day star is our Lord, Yahawashai. Okay? Now... We have a, 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 a more sure word of prophecy, man. You see, when you trust and you, you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, you, 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 you know the power and see the power of our Lord, okay? You see how the Lord is working in the earth, okay? You see what he's doing from ancient times until now. You believe in the scriptures on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know these prophecies are real. You know this book is the living water, okay? You see, and, and 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 trust and believe, okay. None of these prophecies are gonna fail, man. So that's why we speak in the spirit of army to go into the prophecies, man. The scripture speaks about our Lord, how His testimony uh, get Revelation nineteen and ten, how the testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy, man. You see, so we come light minded, okay. Scripture say we have the mind of a Mashiach. Read the scripture, brother. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahushai. Right, so this is the this is the angel uh, speaking with John, okay? John the Revelator, okay? Read on. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahushai is the spirit of prophecy. So the testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Well, then the Lord is our standard. He's our model. Okay, he's our high priest. He's our mediator. We look up to him. He's our big brother. You see, he's the standard. He's the model. You see? So the testimony of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. That's what we should be dealing with, prophecy. Like the scripture speaks about holy, conver holy conversation. Okay, 
That's speaking of prophecies, man. That's a set apart. Holy means set apart. So that conversation is set apart. We're in the scriptures. Okay? We're speaking of the Lord's prophecies because we know that they, they, they come to pass. Once it is spoken, they come to pass. You see? Go to uh, go to Second Peter chapter 3 and start at verse 9. Mm. So I just mentioned uh, holy being a holy convocation, a holy slack, a holy uh, conversation. So we're going to get this within itself is a prophecy. Okay? Read that. This is the book of Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Uh -huh. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, uh -huh. as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that should any perish, but that all should come to repent, repentance. Right. Read on. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. So all of this is right now, this is a future prophecy. You see, what you're reading is a future prophecy. You're going to read down to verse 14, but the point is in verse 11. Read on. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Uh-huh. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, uh -huh. what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. That's what all holy conversation, right? And godliness. So that's how we're supposed to be. Our conversation is supposed to be set apart. We're supposed to be speaking of these prophecies. Because that's what's happening. You see? Look around in the earth. Okay? Wars and rumors of wars. Okay? We see things come to pass. Prophecies of old and prophecies that would even even happen yet. Okay? World War One already came to pass. That that was a prophecy was prophesied. Okay? 19, uh, 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 1914 to 1917 was World War One. Okay? Revelation 9 and 12 tell you about that. Okay, World War II was 1939 to 1945. Okay, Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14 tell you about that. And it tells you said the second war was passed. Behold, the third war coming quickly. All right, now Revelation chapter 8 and verse 13 speaks about whoa, 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 the third world's woe. Okay, that, that hasn't come to pass yet, but it's gonna come to pass. That's right. Why? Because the scriptures say none shall fail. You see, so this book is the living book. That's why we're supposed to be in, 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 in a holy conversation, bro. That speaking of these prophecies, remember the testimony of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. You see, so that's how we have to be like-minded. We, we, we got to be submerged in these prophecies, man. You see? Uh, continue to read on. Verse 12. Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Most High, uh -huh. wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, right. and the heat, the earth, and the, and the elements shall, shall melt, melt with fervent. fervent heat. Right, the elements shall melt with fervent heat, right? So you're going to read down to verse 14. See, oh. all of that is a future prophecy. Read on. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for the new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right. So we're looking for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. This is the prophecy. That's the kingdom. That's to come. That's a future prophecy. Okay, now read verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, uh -huh. be diligent uh -huh. that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Right. That's that holy conversation. Okay. Seeing that you look for these things, you're looking for that, you're looking for the kingdom. You see? Seeing that you're looking for these things, you got to be in holy conversation, man. You see? Get uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 39. Ecclesiasticus, otherwise, it's known as Sirach. Chapter 39 and verse 1. Come on. 39 and 1? Yeah. Come on. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 1. Mm -hmm. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, right. and is occupied in the meditation thereof, uh -huh. will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient, uh -huh. and be occupied in prophecies. That's right. You're going to be occupied in prophecies, holy conversation. You see? You're going to be occupied in the prophecies, man. You see? That's that's what it is everywhere you look right now. What are, what are they talking about right now? <clears throat> They showing you it in, on, in, on articles. They showing you on TV. All they talking about is the karakma, man. All right. Uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 on down. All right. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born to receive a mark, save that he cannot buy or sell, lest he have, right? The mark of Serenus, man. You see? <laughs> so you seen it. You seen the infrastructure being built right before your eyes. It's only a matter of time. Cool. You see? So the, the, the naysayers and the, the scoffers, they're going to be confounded because the word of Yahweh Bashim is going to stand. Right. You see, none shall fail. Go back to Second Peter's chapter one. 
2 Peter chapter 1, you're going to start reading at verse 20. Come on, this is the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Right, so you can't interpret these scriptures like how you want. The most I have these set a certain type of way, you know? So, <clears throat> it's no, no, no private interpretation. You got to speak these words in truth and in sincerity. You see, read the 21st verse. For the prophecy came not in the old time by the will of man, right. but the holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Right, as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So who words are these? You speak in, the prophets speak the words of the Most High, man. You see, the prophets speak the words of the Most High. All right, those who are sent by the Most High. Get Jeremiah 28 and start at verse 8. You're going to read 8 and 9. 28? Yeah. Come on. Baba Kasha. This is the book of Jeremiah 28, <clears throat> verse 8. The prophets that have been before me mm -hmm. and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. There you go. You see? The men of the Lord speak the, 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 the Lord's words, man. All right? These his words. We only speak in his words. You see? Read verse 9. The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Right. When when it comes to pass. That's how you're going to know. Say, this man was speaking the truth. This man was God sent. You see what I'm saying? Like uh, Elijah, Elisha. You know what I'm saying? Moses. You see? The prophets, man. Jeremiah. Okay. When they spoke. And things come to pass, all right? They speak in the Lord's words. And that's how you know the Lord sent them. You see, get Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 3. It's like in 33. Ezekiel 33 and 33. Come on. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, pass, and lo, it will come. What's that talking about right there? That's talking about prophecy, prophecy. man. Something that has been prophesied. It's already been prophesied. So it, it's just waiting for the time to be fulfilled. Okay, read on. Read it again. Ezekiel 33 and 33. Mm -hmm. And when this come to pass, mm -hmm. lo, it will come. Uh -huh. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. That's how you're going to know a prophet was among you because he told you before time. Look how long our elders and apostles was out on the highways and the byways. Okay? Telling you and warning you of these times to come and now look the scoffers are going to be confounded because prophecies are going forward man hey all of the lord's prophecies will prevail That's all right. all right. of the lord's prophecies are going to prevail man you see and the lord speak them by the mouth of his prophets man you see get um get isaiah 42 go to isaiah 42 you see these prophecies are jumping off of the pages man um Side of verse 8. You're going to read 8 and 9. Come on, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 8. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord, mm -hmm. that is my name, mm -hmm. and my glory will I not give to another, mm -hmm. neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are to come to pass, and the new things. Read it again. Behold, the former things are come to pass, right. and the new things do I declare. Right, the former things are come to pass. Those, those are prophecies were prophesied in ancient times. and A lot of them already come to pass. Okay, and he says, behold, new things do I declare. So you got, you got more prophecies to come forward right now in these times. Okay, you have, you have World War III, okay, Second Ezra, you have Jacob's Trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7, okay, you have, um, Second Ezra chapter 15, Second Ezra chapter 16, a sedition among men invading one another because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. Okay, you have um, you have the return of our Lord. Okay, one of the greatest prophecies. Okay, you see. So there you have it. Read it again. This is Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 42 verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Right. Well, I mean, there's so much of the former things you could go through. The Lord told us that we would go into captivity. Okay, we went into several captivities. The last recentest one is what? Uh, uh, the Lord say, uh, what, Deuteronomy, because we live under the curses. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48 say you're going to have yokes of iron around your neck, man. 
Google, do a Google search and see which people have yolks of iron around their neck, man. You're going to see those people look like so-called color, colored people, man. Okay? You see? All right? All right? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Okay? You're going to go back to Egypt again in ships, not, the, not ancient Egypt. Okay? The daughter of Babylon, which is known as spiritual Egypt, man, a.k.a. America. Our people came here, our, our ancestors came here on cargo slave ship, man. That's written history. That's secular history. That's prophesied that you would go into slavery. So that's some of the former things. You see? Oh. What else can you say former? Some of the same thing we mentioned earlier, World War One, World War Two. That's former. They, they already passed already. You know? Just for some examples, but it's more. If you go back in ancient times, it's, it's way more. I'm just putting them out there for an example. You see? You finish reading that? That's a little more. Come. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Come. And how does the Lord tell you of them? Get Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1 and start at verse 68. You're going to read down to 17. Come on. He says, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So how the Lord tell you? The Lord speak to his prophets, man. Luke 7 and 68? Yeah. No, Luke 1. Come on. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, mm -hmm. for he hath visited and redeemed his people. Right. And have raised up a horn of salvation for uh -huh. us in the house of his servant David. Right. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. There you go. So the Lord speak to his prophets, man. You see? That's how the Lord speaks. He speaks to his prophets. The Lord ain't going to manifest himself to you in your living room. Who is you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the Lord speaks to his prophets, man. You see? And the, and, the, and the will of the Lord is going to be done. The scriptures say, who can resist his will? Get Isaiah 55 and start at verse 10. You're going to read 10 and 11. Come on. <clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10. For as the rain cometh down, uh -huh. and the snow from heaven, uh -huh. and will turn not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth a bring forth in bud uh -huh. that it may give to the seed to the seed so I'm gonna restart this is book Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 uh -huh. for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth in bud uh -huh. that it may give seed to the sower right. and bread to the eater uh -huh. so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth right. it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. There it go, man. Prophecies, man. When the Lord speaks, that's it. That's right. For it is spoken, man. All right? And the Lord is not a man. Get a, get a, get a, get a numbers, what's that? Numbers 23 and 19. Okay? When the, the Lord will make it good, man. When the Lord speaks, he make it good. His words doesn't return unto him void. That's how you know these prophecies are going to go forward. Okay, go ahead. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. Mm -hmm. The Most High is not a man that he should lie, mm -hmm. neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Right. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Uh -huh. Or have he spoken, and he shall not make it good? There you go. You see? <laughs> That's it, man. That's it. You can't get around the, the, you can't get around the Lord's will. The Lord is going to do all his pleasure, man. You see? Can't get around it. Get uh, Isaiah 46, uh, 6. Isaiah 46 and 10. Because at the end of the day, the Lord will is going to be done. And that's how we know these prophecies are going to go forward. All right? And, and, and all of the Lord's prophecies will prevail. All right? Go ahead, brother. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Declaring the end from the beginning uh -huh. and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, right. saying, My counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. There it go. The Lord's going to do all his pleasure, man. You know one can resist his will. Okay, he's the Lord Almighty. Okay, at the end of the day, the infinite power, Yahweh, you understand? All right? So at the end of the day, Yahweh Shem Shai, will is going to be done. And this is how we know all of the Lord's prophecies will prevail. Because the scriptures say, none shall fail. Get that? Isaiah 4, 34 and 16. This is how we know all of the Lord's prophecies will prevail. Okay? Be successful. Effectuous. All right? To have a sure, desired effect. You see? Go ahead, brother. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord uh -huh. and read. 
No one of these shall fail. Right, no one of what? Prophecy. The prophecies, man. Okay, so if no one of them are going to fail, that means that all of them are going to prevail. Exactly. <laughs> you see? <laughs> That's it. Read it again from the top, brother. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Right. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord uh -huh. and read. Uh -huh. No one of these shall fail. Right. None shall want her mate. That's talking about the scriptures. We'll be reading from right now. No other book could be compared to this book, right? Because this is the book would have the prophecies in it. Come all on. of those books you read about history and other different things in it but it cannot give it to you like this this tells you it's going to happen before it happens you understand which is prophecy prophecy means to say before you see so this is the living water this is the living true book man okay read, read that scripture from the top again seek ye out of the book of the lord and read right no one of these shall fail none shall want her mate right for my mouth it have commanded and uh -huh. his spirit it have gathered them there you go man it's no getting around it man he ain't no getting around it. The Lord's will is going to be done. That's right. And so that's why this lesson is entitled, All of the Lord's Prophecies Will Prevail. Will Prevail. So that was it on that. We're going to end it there. All right. Uh, Lord willing, you were edified. Before we leave, we're going to give all honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who taught us his truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom.